Another useful property for our data styling with high charts might be defining certain colors for a range of numbers within our data set. For example, any numbers up to zero might be one color, any numbers up to 10 might be another color, and everything else would be, and anything higher than that value would be some other color. You can define as many as you want. The way this works, in your series objects, you need to define zones uh, property, and that zones property would have an array of objects. And I will just copy and paste this from the documentation. So this colors come from the documentation. Uh, the point here is you, you have the, uh, zones property. Zones property is an array of objects. Those objects represent value. The value would be a number up to so to a certain point, to the point of number zero, you would have this color. So that would be negative four, negative eight. Then up to 10, you would have the all the other colors. So that would be these numbers. That is kind of bluish color. And anything higher than that, so that's 12, 15, and all of that, they would be this kind of green color. So let's take a look at that. So as you see, zero starts with this bluish color. So we had this value zero and this color, and that would be this two numbers, so up to zero. This is what we, this is how this works, up to zero. It doesn't include zero, it is up to zero. Next we have this blue color, and that will be up to 10, so six, nine, and from 10, we have another color. Since we didn't define value here, it's just considered anything that's not within this and not within this, so anything higher than nine would be considered this green color. So we have this 10, 12, 15, 10, and then we'll come back to our uh, defined code zone, uh, color zones. So this is how color zones work with high charts, and these color zones might help you represent your data better and with more meaning.